Are you satisfied that the uh, that the gift um, of the eighty four thousand dollar vacation was one from a friend and not from an entity like a, a corporation or a company? As I mentioned, we verify alle allegations of friendship. We do do our research, and the fact as as disclosed publicly by the Prime Minister and what we found out ourselves are coincident with the fact that this is a true friend who has no relations with the government of Canada. Yeah, so, um, so I appreciate that, but let me be a bit more precise. So um, it's, it's not a question of, of uh, to me, if yeah. they're friends. The question is, who gave the gift? So um, we'll, we'll give an example. Uh, if, um, if a Prime Minister is friends with let's say, uh, an, a family member of, of Ro Ted Rogers, and uh, it's established, it's been ruled on by your office that, that a prime minister is friends with, with this individual. If that, if that uh, designated public office holder then receives free wireless services from Rogers Communications, Inc. in perpetuity um, as a gift from the friend, but the friend is not incurring the expense, the corporation is foregoing revenue. Is that, is that an acceptable gift from a friend? And, and sir, if it is not, um, has your office uh, been satisfied in this case that the gift was in fact paid for by Mr. Green and it was not just revenue that's foregone by a company that Mr. Green has an interest in? Because uh, I'm, I, I don't see them the same way. Now, first of all, I don't answer hypothetical questions. So um, let's forget about what you are trying, uh, getting at is really the question does it have to be the friend himself who has give, given that gift, or it has it to be an entity that the, uh, the friend controls? Frankly, that's a, that makes no difference to me. It, the, it wouldn't have cost if, if it hadn't been for the friend, and the friend has, doesn't have control over the entity that provided this. So in the case here, whether it's Mr. Green or his, his, Mr. Green's hotel that gives it, it's, he is the controlling mind. He gave it. So therefore, that's for, what counts. As, uh, it's the friendship that triggered it. So foregone revenue by a corporation owned by an individual is an acceptable gift? It, it's not a question of uh, you are trying to get me into income tax issues here. <laughs> what the issue is is not at all that. The issue uh, is whether it is has is whether this gift in any way puts uh, the situation in section 11, which I pointed out, but which which I read out to you, which is i.e. that you, thank you that it gives you. <coughs> that something that might reasonably be seen to have been given influence to the public office holder. You know, is the fact here under the cafe that, that somebody gave a gift to the prime minister who is his personal friend likely to influence the behavior of the prime minister? That's really the question we're looking at. I, I, and the I, gift was given by Mr. Green or, the, by, or by the company that he controls. This is fact. Is, we know what the gift is. It, it has been publicly disclosed. 